Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about extracting thumbnail images using Thumbcache Viewer. Thumbnail cache files have been used by law enforcement agencies to prove that a file of interest was stored on a Windows operating system's hard drive, even if it was deleted. When a user deletes a file, its thumbnail remains in the cached file. So anytime you hover your mouse, over an image in a folder, a thumbnail preview of the image is generated. Windows will store this thumbnail in a thumb cache database for later retrieval. The caching of a thumbnail image speeds up the display of images as these smaller images do not need to be recalculated every time the user views the image folder. For this lab, you'll need one installation of Windows 7 or Windows 10 and one downloaded copy of Thumb Cache Viewer. Thumbcache Viewer downloads as an archive. Once you have it downloaded, just go ahead and extract it. Save the extracted folder to your favorite download location and you're ready to proceed. Here we see a view of the extracted folder. Now the next thing we have to do is show hidden files because the Thumbcache databases are all hidden up inside of the app data folder for each individual profile on your machine. So let's go up here to view. And you're going to check these two boxes over here to show file name extensions and to show hidden items. The thumb cache viewer itself needs no installation, which means that you can run it from a thumb drive or an external hard drive, or you can run it from a network share. You begin by just double clicking the thumb cache underscore viewer dot exe, and there is your viewer. We next need to go to file, and we're going to go to open. And from here, we're going to browse on over to where the thumb cache database files are actually located. To get access to these thumb cache databases, just go ahead and open up your C drive. From here, you're going to go on down to users, and you're going to select the name of the profile currently logged on to the computer. My profile is XPAT. I'm going to go ahead and double click that. Now that we have enabled show hidden items, we have access to the app data folder. Go ahead and open that up. From here, you're going to open up the local profile. You're going to scroll on down until you come to Microsoft. From there, you're going to scroll on down until you come to Windows. And from here, you're going to scroll on down until you come to Explorer. And there are the databases for the thumb cache. Now, we're interested in the thumb cache databases. That's the ones that we're going to be working with here. For this demonstration, I'm going to open up the thumb cache that is entitled thumb cache underscore 768.db. I'm just going to double click. I can now see all of the thumbnails that are stored inside of that database. Now to begin looking at these different thumbnails, all I have to do is just highlight the first one. And now I can start going through them just using my arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'll use the down arrow. And you can see that I'm going through each one of these images one at a time. Now I can also rename the file name to something more interesting and easier to identify. All I have to do is just click inside of the box for the file name and now I can call it something more interesting. And now you'll see that it was renamed to storeimage.jpg and I can do that with any of them. Now if I would like to save the contents of this database to an Excel spreadsheet, I can also do that just by going to File and export to CSV. I'll go ahead and save it to my desktop. Once you have saved the output to an Excel spreadsheet, just go to the location where you saved the Excel spreadsheet and you can open up and you can view the information. So in this short video presentation, you got to see how we can go about proving that an image at one time did exist on a suspect's machine. Even though they may have deleted that image and the folder that the image was actually sitting in, we now have the means to verify that that image did exist at some point in time on that machine. And so that's going to conclude this short video demonstration on how we go about extracting thumbnail images using Thumb Cache Viewer. If you've got questions, you got concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.